This is Twit. Michelle Garden Grove, California. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for hanging on. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hello, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay, so okay. let's get right into it if okay. we can. Yes. All right, so I got a gift uh, for Christmas from my husband, which is a Bevo Book laptop. Okay. And the intention was is to use the laptop for photography. Okay. Reviewing pictures, etc. Yeah. Now, I went to first and foremost try to download Chrome, <clears throat> which it doesn't allow me to do. Oh. It took me to a well, window. hold on. I know what's wrong. Yep. I got to yep. take a break, but I can walk you through the fix right now because it's easy. Uh, but we have to take a break. Leo Laporte, the tech guy, and uh, more of your calls coming up. So, can you download stuff from the Microsoft Store? If you go to the store, can you download stuff? That's the thing. And my issue is, is what I was wondering, how detrimental is it if I actually got myself switched out of S mode? That's what the problem is. So, you already know yeah. the answer. Windows S, which is a dopey idea, <laughs> okay. limits you, for they say, for security to downloading mm -hmm. files only from the Windows App Store. But right. the number one app people want is Chrome, and it won't let you download that. Yes. Now, you're, the theory be behind this is, well, if it's in the App Store, we vetted it, it's safe. Mm -hmm. You're going to be more secure. They even say it'll run faster. I don't know if that's true. That's what freaked me out. I was like, do I want to have a slower computer? I mean, I've got You will just have a normal... There. If you do this, you will have a normal Windows computer. And by the okay. way, Microsoft has stopped offering Windows S because okay, nobody so wanted it. Something people have to deal with. Yeah, and it's easy to turn it off. Okay. So I... <sighs> So it's not something that's so detrimental the way they make it sound. No. Um, okay. I think this was a theory that they had, and S mode can be turned off and on. So if you oh, wanted, for instance, you could turn it off, download Chrome, and turn it back on. Oh. I guess what I should tell you is that the new Windows Edge browser is based on the Chrome engine, but okay. If, but if you so it's close to Chrome. It's not Chrome. It's not Google. It's from Microsoft. But it has kind of the same compatibility. If you mm -hmm. feel like you have to have Chrome, not necessarily. No. Are there it's, other it's apps? Not a requirement. You, are there other apps you can't download that you well, want? I haven't gotten any further. I've sort of just been in this stuck standstill. Like, what do I do? Mode. Yeah. And the one thing that it was also sort of forcing me into a corner was with. Uh, Adobe Photoshop. Now I you have can't Adobe put that on there. Photoshop. And if you're a photographer and you want Photoshop, well, they have put it in the store, but it's not the same. You want the if you want the Creative Cloud Photoshop, then you definitely have. That's to, what I had yeah. on our desktop. Turn it off. Turn okay. it off. It isn't. It is not that important. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and in fact, so much so that Microsoft's pretty much stopped doing it. Oh, okay. Can I ask another question? Sure. We'll on the air. Sure. My husband's listening right now, and it's regarding the Wink Hub 2. Okay. He went about purchasing products to make our home smart. Yeah. But I think he did things sort of like in a reverse direction. <laughs> he got the hub. You know, we've got a Samsung refrigerator Actually, that that's has not, family hub. That's not in reverse because generally that's how you do it is you because you want to make sure that everything you buy from then on works with whatever system you're going with. Wink that's Wink is a very not. good one. Does it work with okay. your Samsung? Uh, not, not really. And then we have an Echo. You, you know why? Because so Samsung sells thing. their own hub called the Smart Things, yep. and they want yeah. you to use Smart Things. <laughs> this but, this know, is why everything this, in our house that is Samsung. Yeah, this is why this isn't taking off. The because it, it's got these incompatibilities. I think the yeah. Wink is a very good choice because it supports the broadest range of devices it does so okay. there's zigbee there's z-wave yes. there's smart yes. things there's apple home there's google's version of whatever they call it there's other but the wink works with the more than so your husband was smart you're smart he got the wink because yeah. that works with everything except maybe it doesn't work so well with the smart things does it not work with your samsung stuff well the samsung 
Brown stuff isn't necessarily a deal breaker because, you know, Who I cares can if you're ref- certain things from my phone. Yeah, and you don't really care if you, mostly it's for lights, right? And and doorbells yeah. and and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. The lights um what else? The locks. Yeah. Uh, if if the you know, stuff, stuff you like want that. works with Wink, I would stick with it. Wink is Wink is good. Okay. My 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 IoT expert uh, Stacy Higginbotham loves the wink. She says that's a good choice. Okay, yeah. The one thing I did see that it does have a very broad spectrum across the board with anything yeah. that you can link into it. Yeah, it has a lot of choices. This is going to, I hope, be fixed, but it's not fixed yet. I'm sorry to say. Um, <sighs> if I can revert back very quickly to the S mode. Yes. If I want to switch that off, how would I go about doing so? Um, let's see. I had it up and then I, and then I closed the window switching out of S mode. Um, I think it's pretty I'm, simple. I think there okay. is, um, I'm at a window that says switch out of S mode yeah. and then it has free and then it just basically you click on the tab that says get. Just does it. And you'll be amazed how quickly that happens. Okay. <laughs> because truthfully, you have full Windows installed. You're going to go to the update and security control panel. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, actually, it's in, I'm sorry. You're going to go to the settings and then system and then about. Well, it is well, done I mean, now. Anyway, it's done. Yeah. See how fast? Yeah. That so was easy. Would I be able to go to the Creative Cloud and just download yeah. it? And then does that work on a registration or an annual fee? Or you, how do you have an Adobe? If you've paid CD for the... Cre if you've had the... Pay no, you don't need the CD-ROM anymore. That's Good. long gone. Okay. You subscribe. Adobe mm -hmm. wants your money every month. I do the photography subscription. Ten bucks a month, you get Photoshop and Lightroom. Oh, nice. I think that's for me. And for most photographers, that's all you need. But if you want other programs, you can buy those as well in a monthly subscription. You'll then, once you do that, you'll have an Adobe account mm -hmm. and you'll you just download the Adobe Creative Cloud app, mm -hmm. log into your account, and then it'll say, oh, you're entitled to this and this. And you just press the download and install. It'll keep them up to date, too. Perfect. So you just It's your Adobe login. No more serial numbers, thank goodness. Yes. Yes, exactly. Well, you know what? You were a great help, and you saved me from having to return this awesome laptop minus that S mode issue. So yeah, I you know I, I don't that. as my understanding they're not selling those anymore. That was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll put a link in the Clearly. show notes to switch out of S mode. It's update and security activation. Switch to Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro. Uh, the upgrade, if you're just going to switch out of S mode, takes about four seconds because you already, basically, it's a setting. You already have a full Windows on there. It's just a setting. Yeah, this is, I guess, that S mode. And then if I were to have wanted to change it to premium or professional Yeah, version, then you can upgrade. Don't do that. That's a waste of money. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, waste of money. Yep. No, I'm not about that. Yep. <laughs> well, thank you once again, and you have a wonderful time at the CES show. Oh, my jealous. God. I'm going to come back tomorrow, uh, next week, and I'll be talking like this. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.